season two, Sea of Monsters, Annabeth Chase, is an example of how hard it is to actually understand how much somebody has manipulated and abused you when they've been in your life for years. Welcome to the second episode I'm doing here on the characters of Percy Jackson and what will happen with them in Sea of Monsters. This video is about Annabeth in season two. And this quote here that was, that was put out recently kind of sums up her general story in, in season two. She was the bravest demigod I ever knew. She fought valiantly and she met a hero's fate. She met a pine cone's fate. The other thing, though, that I think is the most important part of this story is, do we believe Annabeth, like, her description of the traumatic event that caused the reason for why she is so afraid of Tyson? And this is not, like, questioning Annabeth and, like, her storytelling events or, like, questioning her um, memory or anything like that. It's more thinking about who who would have told her these things and why because what is the story of why she has such a hard time trusting Tyson where she doesn't fully realize that she could trust him until she thinks that he's dead for a couple days when she was on the run with Grover and Thalia and Luke she was told that the reason why they got they ended up in the situation they were when they got to camp where Thalia had to sacrifice herself in order to stop like all the monsters who were coming after them at least she felt like she had to do that right seven-year-old Annabeth was told that the reason why that happened is because Grover got lost and that while getting lost they ran into a cyclops that imitated her dad's voice she was able to stab that cyclops in the foot like the bamf that she is and and get Thalia out so then they could get away she was told because she was seven years old when this happened she definitely had to be told this after they got to camp and she was trying to understand what happened with Thalia person who told her that was likely Luke it was absolutely Luke who was telling her that it was Grover's fault and like Grover is such a kind, empathetic, caring person that it's not like he would have, he would have questioned that. Like, this is a seven-year-old girl. There's no way that Grover is going to tell a seven-year-old girl that this other figure that she looks up to and idolizes, like Luke, is not being honest with her about what really happened. But anyone who's read these books, you know what really happened. Because Thalia tells Percy in a later book, what really happened she tell she tells percy that the reason why she ended up having to sacrifice herself the way that she did is because luke would fight every monster that they would run into when they were out there on the road that's why it took them so long to get to camp that's why they ended up like grover got lost like how luke explained what happened he's the reason why they got so delayed because he constantly needed to beat every monster as a way to get out the absolute rage and vindictiveness he felt that he takes out on other people. Annabeth is doing things that she normally wouldn't do because she believes and, and hasn't gone back to realize that Luke in the past is also not a trustworthy person and is manipulating her. Luke is not even there for a lot of the season with Percy and Annabeth anymore, but he is standing in the middle of the two of them, and not in, like, a romantic way. I don't think that, I don't think that Percy's jealousy that Annabeth had people like Thalia and Luke that protected her and understood what she was going through as a kid is, like, romantic jealousy. I think that's just jealousy of having, like, a support system when he never had one. I don't think that there's any jealousy from Percy ever that's like romantic exactly when it comes to Luke and Annabeth. Um, I don't even think that Annabeth seeing Luke and her vision during the sirens is necessarily like a romantic thing. I think it's more that he is like her family. He's him as somebody who rescued her when she was so young. 
the reason why those of us who deal with abusive people who resemble Luke in our lives have to go to therapy for like many many years before we feel like we've gotten like a grasp on how many things that person kind of distorted in your mind it's because there's so many kind of layers to it all like it's not that the day that Luke took Percy out into the forest it's not like that day all of a sudden all of those behaviors just like popped up he was doing those things those manipulative things for years by that point and Annabeth was seven years old when she got to camp and she was there with Luke he is the one he is the one that helped like shape how she saw the world and what she expected of it and the other people around it like somebody like him was shaping how she felt about things like it's no surprise that when Percy first meets Annabeth she is very kind of emotionally closed off and is very like aggressive and is like you have to agree with me otherwise I'm not going to listen to you to the point that in the show version Grover literally has to be like are you really getting mad at him because he wants his mother not to be dead like that's a ridiculous statement to make as they chose Leah to play Annabeth we get to see the storyline have a lot more depth and just understanding than it would have had if she was played by a white girl with blonde hair there are not a lot of black especially black characters in media that are allowed to make mistakes be like nuanced 3d complex people like they would be and get caught up in their trauma and take that out on on people and things that are not the thing that actually traumatized them it's not surprising to think about how from the time that annabeth was seven years old she was around somebody like luke who very much was looking at the world as if he was better than everyone else that's how you end up in that place like annabeth is not naturally this way the fact that when she is around Percy and Grover on her own that she starts treating both of them much nicer and like drops a lot of that stuff as the years go on shows that but it very she very much was manipulating her for a long time the only thing that Annabeth knows about Tyson when she gets in an argument with Percy before they even leave for the quest is that he is dedicated enough to Percy that he fought Lastergronians at their school and that he jumped and like saved them from the bulls that were attacking them and he was the only thing that could have possibly saved them from that because he is like fireproof so within a course of like an hour or so she has seen tyson save percy's life twice and he is totally dedicated obviously to keeping percy safe that's the only thing that she knows about him but because of this like very traumatic memory granted that happened in her past and being told by Luke since then that the reason why she went through that traumatic experience is because of the Cyclops and not only that but the other traumatic experience on top of that of losing Thalia she is told that these two very traumatic experiences that happened back to back in her life happened because of a Cyclops and like one of the things about trauma is that it can make you kind of stupid <laughs> like you have trauma responses to things that you normally wouldn't be afraid of and you treat people ways that you normally never would. Tyson is able to wait her out and one of the hor like the sad things about Tyson is that he is so used to people being afraid of him and bullying him and treating him badly that he's not even like phased by the fact that Annabeth doesn't like him or that camp everyone at camp hates him. He wants to be good as he puts it. Um, but he's not exactly like surprised by that sort of a reaction, which I can identify with as someone who was relentlessly bullied the entire time I was in school. <sighs> it is very much true to life that it takes sometimes a while for you to almost like get slapped in the face with your own just seeing through finally things. But truly, season two sea of monsters annabeth chase is an example of how hard it is to actually understand how much somebody has manipulated and abused you when they've been in your life for years it is so hard to understand like annabeth in the in the present time would never be okay with fighting every monster out there they try to avoid anything like that that they can 
but she still hasn't been able to look back at her childhood memories of Luke being her hero and let go of them. She doesn't ever completely let go of them necessarily at any point in these books, and it actively makes the relationship, friendship that she has with Percy so much harder, which I will go into in his video, which is coming up next. 